Hey, this is Zach Wasserman, CTO of Fleet with a demo of Fleet Desktop and the self-remediation workflow. So our IT administrator has deployed Fleet Desktop onto my machine, and I can see it running up here in the menu bar. If we look at what's in this menu bar, I see the red icon and a one indicating that my device is failing one of the policies defined by our IT admins. So I can click this and my web browser will open up with a details page on my device. If I click into here, I see that my device is failing one policy. And here's the policy. The policy says there should not be any unencrypted SSH keys. And it provides remediation instructions for encrypting those SSH keys. So in this case, I actually I'm just going to delete this SSH key, and I'll do that now. After I've done the remediation steps, I can come back into the UI and ask for the device details to be refetched. This takes a few seconds while we wait for the device to check in, but pretty soon we'll have these new details. While we're waiting for that, I'll show you the transparency link. Transparency brings you to the Fleet website where we show what OS Query and Fleet actually have access to on the device. And we think it's really important for IT admins to be communicating with their users about what sorts of capabilities they have. But coming back to here, we see that the device is refetched, and now the policy is passing. So this can be super useful for enabling workflows like device posture checking with zero trust architectures. So you can have your identity provider hit fleet and find out if the device that the user is logging in from actually complies with your organizational policies. Please give this a try and let us know what you think.